Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to X-Finds TV. My name is Lonnie Dries. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance thank you you may now be seated today is monday october 24th 2022 now let's take a brain break comfortably just taking a big deep breath in through the nose out through the mouth as you breathe in noticing how the body expands as you breathe out just watching the body soften you gently close the eyes. And rather than the mind leading the breath, allow the breath to lead the mind. Notice the sensation of the breath. Wow, I really needed a moment to breathe. Now let's learn a new word with word of the day. Hey Aiden, how's your hike? It was fun. I hiked all the way to the precipice part of the mountain. Oh, cool. So you hiked till you got to the edge of the cliff. Yeah, I could see everything when I was at the precipice part. I hope that you were really careful when you got to the edge of the cliff. It seemed like you had a lot of fun. I made sure to be really careful, but I did have a lot of fun. That's good. See, see you, you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word, Word of, of the, the day. day. Wow, what a great new word. Let's see what's happening today in history with Sophia. Thank you, Melanie. Hey, Patriots. Today in history was the first barrel ride down Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls is a series of waterfalls on the Niagara River in New York. In 1901, a 63-year-old teacher decided to take a risk and become the first person to take the plunge over Niagara Falls in a barrel. She did it in hopes of receiving money. After the 19th, people decided to barrel ride in Niagara Falls. There were a few failed attempts causing barreling in Niagara Falls to become illegal. This amazing site allows people from all over the world to come and see the beautiful waterfall. They now have a museum open to everyone. Wow, I really hope that one day I get to see this wonderful site. Now let's check in with Jasmine for today's tasty lunch. Thank you, Sophia. Today's lunch is macaroni and cheese, breadstick, turkey and cheese sandwich, green beans, diced peaches, and your choice of milk. Students, please keep in mind that the lunch can change at any time. And always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Let's get back to Melanie. Thank you, Jasmine. I can't wait for lunch. Super Patriots, we're calling on you again for this quarter's instructional software challenge. For grades K through second, you will need 20 minutes weekly usage in Lexia and 25 past lessons in iReady Math. And for grades third through eighth, you will need 25 lessons passed in iReady Reading and 25 past lessons in Imagine Math. All grades need to complete this challenge by Friday, December 23rd. We know you could do it again, Patriots. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It's important to make sure you have your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. I'm so excited for the Fall Festival on October 29th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Pre-sale tickets and ticket bundles are now on sale on my school books. There will be exciting Halloween activities, and luckily the book fair will be there too, so I can't wait to buy all the books I want. Speaking of the book fair, it's coming up. It'll take place October 24th to October 28th. Students can bring in cash or use e-wallet, but no credit cards. Please look at the schedule to see when it's your time to go to the book fair. Do you want to get your friend into the Halloween spirit? Well, then you can surprise them with these blue grams. There are three fun gram bundles to choose from. Make sure to buy them before October 26th. K through fifth, the barnyard dance is coming up. It's on Friday, October 28th, and the entry price is $5. Make sure to dress up in your cowboy and girl attire. Sports fans, this is the last call for girls basketball tryouts. Any girls that were in tutoring or Hispanic heritage show and didn't get to try out, this one's for you. It'll take place tomorrow, Tuesday, October 25th from 3.30 to 5 p.m. Make sure to turn into the red box your completed sports pack physical and grade check sheet before trying out. If you have any questions about these trials, see Coach Bridgets. 
Here's another one for you sports fans. Today, our girls volleyball team has their last game of the season. This game will be against Jewish Academy at 4 p.m. here at the school. Make sure to show up and support them. Let's go Patriots! And here's our last sports announcement. Our boys slam football team won their game on Wednesday 20 to 14th against Slam Boca, which is the number one team in the North. Now let's see what the weather's looking like today with Nia. Thanks, Melanie. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather is 83 degrees Fahrenheit. Great weather to go outside. In other weather news, an owner recorded a pair of mammals fighting in his front yard, slamming into cars during an intense fight. This is most likely for a couple of reasons. They fight for territory, which they hope is full of females. Also, if a moose is extremely hungry, exhausted from walking through knee-deep snow, or being annoyed from humans or other animals, they don't ram into each other's with their antlers. Instead, they use it to show who's stronger by shoving the weaker moose. Let's hope that doesn't happen near us. Now let's go to Chanel and Destiny for Hot Topic. Thank you, Aiden. Hey, Patriots. Welcome to Hot, Hot Topic. Topic. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending this week. Hey, Destiny, would you rather have breakfast or dinner meals all day? Breakfast 24-7. Well, since it's National Food Day, I'm thinking about a breakfast buffet for the family. Sounds like a plan. The spooky season is around the corner, Patriots. Make sure to get your costumes and decorations ready for Halloween. Can you believe that Halloween is on a Monday? Does that count as a paranormal event? Beats me. McDonald's Happy Meal Buckets are back for the spooky season. When ordering a Happy Meal, it can come in a big boo, a big pumpkin, or a big goblin Halloween bucket. Can't miss out on this spooky treat. A new trailer has been released for Inside Out 2. Riley has grown up to be a teenager and she starts to feel new emotions. They haven't been leaked yet, but I can't wait for it. Well, my new emotion for this movie is exciting. That's it for this week, Patriots. Now let's go to Hendrick for the birthdays. Thanks, Chanel and Destiny. Today's birthday boys and girls are Matias and Carnation Pelta and one of our very own IPTV member, Chanel Mitchell. Happy birthday, now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Alexander. Patriots, here are your PACS expectations. Represent, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Silvera, Ms. Arnold, and Ms. Stone. You all have the correct answer to Thursday's daily challenge, which was, if you throw a blue stone into the Red Sea, what will it become? The correct answer was, it will become what? Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. I'm a non number, take away a letter, and I'll become even. What number am I? Teachers, please send your answer to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a marvelous Monday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence and education. Have a good day.